Now let's talk quickly about factoring. Um, now you guys should already know how to factor, but just a quick reminder um, of the, the basics of factoring. Um, remember the first thing you do when you're uh, going to factor is always, always, off, always factor out the greatest common factor. And then um, you look at the number of terms. And so if you have uh, two terms, then that means it's either going to be a difference of squares or a difference or sum of cubes. If you have uh, three terms, then you do this. The easiest way is to just do it by uh, factor by trial and error. And if you have four terms, almost always it's going to be factoring by grouping. Alright, so let's do a quick example of, of each one of these. Um, let's say, for example, you have 16a squared minus 81b squared. Okay, so first you take a look, you see, okay, is there anything that you can factor out of both of these? Well, no. Okay, then you notice that you have two terms. So if you're going to factor this, it's going to be either a difference of squares or a difference of cubes. Now, uh, you notice that uh, 16a squared has a perfect square root, and 81b squared also does. And so um, all you have to do, so notice that this guy is 4a squared minus 9b, the whole thing squared. And so to factor this, all it would have to be is 4a plus 9b times 4a minus 9b. And that's it. So that's the um, difference of squares. And remember, you can't factor a sum of squares. And you can try if you want, but remember, you can't really do that. OK, so let's take a look. Let's say we want to do something like um, 54a cubed minus 16b cubed. Okay, so um, well, we notice um, that so these guys are cubes, so that's a hint to us that it's probably a difference of cubes. Now, um, the problem is that 54, there's no number uh, cubed that gives us 54, but we do notice that we can um, take out, there's a greatest common factor here. Notice that 54 and 16 are both divisible by 2. And that would mean that we would be left with um, 27a cubed minus 8b cubed inside. Okay, now let's write down the formula for um, factoring um, difference of cubes. Uh, where should I put it? I'll put it. Uh, right here. So if you have x cubed minus y cubed. Uh, remember that, um, and this is the formula, you open up small parentheses and a big parentheses. And then the in the first parentheses, what you do is you put the same, these guys, but without the cubes. So this is going to be just x minus y. And then in the big parentheses, on the ends, you put the first one squared, so x squared, minus I mean, sorry, positive, and then also positive on the right side, the second one squared. Sorry about that. Okay, now, the sign in the middle has to be opposite of this one. So it's going to be positive. And then you just multiply one, one times the other without the cubes again. So this is going to be x, y. Okay, so let's follow that same um, process to do ours. So what we have is 2. Now first, this 27, we have to figure out what cubed gives us 27. Well, we know that um, 3 cubed is 27. 
So we can write it as 3a cubed. And you have to write this for, for you to be able to factor it properly. Okay, and then minus um, 2 cubed is 8, so what we're going to have is 2b cubed. Okay, and so again we're going to follow the same, the same process that we just did right here. And the 2 just comes down. I'm going to open a small parentheses and a big parentheses. Now in the first one, remember you just put these guys exactly how they are without the cubes. So 3a minus 2b. Okay? Then the first and the last, you just square each one. So 3a squared is 9a squared. 2b squared is 4b squared. And then in the middle, remember, the sign has to be opposite of this one, so it's going to be positive, and then 1 times the other. So this is going to be 6ab. And that's it. We're done. All right. So let's do another one. Let's do now one with, say, three terms. How about something like... Um, something like, oh, I don't know, how about um, 8x squared minus 18x minus 5. Okay, so when we have three terms, well, again, we look for the greatest common factor. In this case, there isn't one. But when we have three terms, the easiest way is just to do um, trial and error, and you can you can make the trial and error go down easier if you notice um, a couple of important things. One is that um, so <clears throat> um, remember that here these first two they have to multiply to give you eight x squared. And then this last one um, comes from multiplying the last guys. So these two multiplied have to give us 5. And then when we add up the combination, it should equal negative 18x. Okay, so now if we, if we notice, well, 8, 8x, there's... There are a couple ways of uh, getting of multiplying numbers to get to 8x. So, but there's only one combination of numbers that multiplies to give us 5. So that means that we can already put um, 5 and 1 and not have to think about it anymore. And we know that one has to be positive and the other one has to be negative. So let's just try that for now. Okay, now let's just try. A, um, a couple of numbers. Now I'm going to do this with pencil because it's trial and error, so I could I could mess it up. Let's say we do um, 4x and 2x because 4x times 2x equals 8x squared. And then all you do is you multiply them. Uh, the 5 and the 2x gives us positive 10x, and 4x times negative 1 is negative 4x. And then you add these, and you notice that you get 6x what you want is for it to equal negative 18x. Well, that doesn't work. So then you try switching them, and you go, okay, well, let me switch them here. It's a terrible pencil. And it's pink, or purple, I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's switch them. Let's say we put 2x here and 4x here, and let's see what happens then. And if you're, if you're good at doing math in your head, then you can um, sort of do this calculation in your head, but it's not necessary. So now let's multiply them again. 5 times 4x is 20x. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x, and I get 18x. Whoa, that's close. All right. It's positive 18, but we want negative. So in that case, all you need to do when you get the right number, but um, you got the opposite sign, all you need to do is you need to switch these. This is going to be positive, and this one should be negative. And now if you do it, 
bubble it in with the marker, we'll get negative 20x, positive 2x, and that'll give us negative 18x in the end. And so that's it, we're done. So now let's do one with uh, four terms real quick, just so that you guys remember. Let's say I want to factor um, something like, oh, I don't know, um, 24 plus 9t squared plus 8t plus 3t cubed. Okay, so again, as always, you first look for anything in common between all of these. Um, there isn't anything. So um, we... Since there are four terms, then that means we're going to factor by grouping. So we, we grab these two, we group them up, and we take out the greatest common factor between them. So between 24 and 9t squared, well, um, they're both divisible by 3, and what we would have left over would be um, 8 plus 3t squared. And then these two, well, they have a t in common, so um, if we take out a t, we would get 8 plus 3t squared. And so what I want is exactly what happened right here, is that these two guys are exactly the same. And since they're exactly the same, um, you can factor it out and get 8 plus 3t squared, and what you would have left over would just be these guys that are right here, 3 plus t. And that's it. We're done. Okay, so that's, that's uh, all you need to know about factors.